Hello guys, my name is Beauty and I'm going to be showing you how to set up your very own career or logistic website. Now this um, software is very, very powerful because it comes with a lot of features. Now you see this one allows you to um, track your parcel, like live tracking. You see the map where your parcel is. You also, you also get to print your receipts, the receipts of um, the tracking um, details so this is downloaded straight into your devices okay then also you have um you have the ability to upload a picture of the parcel that you are transporting you get so this is very very detailed very very robust and i'm going to show you the front page and i'm going to show you how the admin can create a track id and also how to install this for yourself Nice pictures, nice write-up and all that. So this is where you track, you click and track and it brings you right here. So we're going to go straight into the admin and see how it works. Okay now, so this is the admin, I'm already logged in. Let me log out and log back in so you see that. Okay, so I'm going to log in now. Now, this is where I create, this is where I create my track ID, okay? You can see it has like a lot of um, fields for you to fill in. It has a lot of fields for you to fill in. Okay, so now let's see sender's name. So let's say Adam. Okay. I'm just gonna fill anything there. Okay, so you can call it anything. I'm going to call my wedding gift. Okay, place of origin. Where is it coming from? So let's say Denmark. Destination. Um, let's say Amsterdam. Now you get to pick the status. Is it pending? Is it has it been picked up already? Is it out for delivery? Is it in transit? in roads cancelled it has been delivered to the warehouse or was it returned okay so let's say in transit okay so we're just going to give it some kg and let's say fragile we're filling in um the delivery dates delivery um required date the day you want it to be delivered okay we're gonna give it like additional um comments like let's say um let's say token of my love time created as when was this particular um what was this particular um track id created Okay, so let's get us created on the fifth. Now let's um, have a an image for this for the parcel. Okay, so let's use this. Okay, it's perfect. I want to hard track them. Okay, successfully created. Successfully created. Now we're going to track what we just created and see it. Now this is it right here. Okay, so now we're back on the home page. I'm going to track. Okay, powerful. You see a token of my love. This is the message that I had it. Now you see this is the status that I placed. Okay, I said it was in transit. Yeah. Now, this part is what you are going to be changing over and over again. You know, um, let's say the parcel left the um, 
left the port and is on his way. So he's going to like, let's say, get to another place first before it gets to the final destination. Now you see this part is where you fill in those information. You understand? This part is where you fill in those information. So every single time you put in a new message, maybe a parcel has left port, um, parcel is on its way, or parcel is in so and so place, um, parcel has moved to Mexico, parcel is in Italy, parcel is in whatever. So this message is what does what this message part is for. You get so you keep updating it, updating it, updating it until it gets to the destination. Okay, and so this is where updates comes in. So I'm going to show you how to update your tracking, um, your tracking detail too. But that aside, now you see this is the image I that I, I uploaded. This is my track ID. Now the sender name, receiver name, um, receiver number, email, the parcel, origin port, destination port. Now you see all the details are here. Now you see the map tells you is in um is in Amsterdam. Okay. Also, you can print out. You can print out your um. You can print out the tracking. You can pick print out the tracking details now. It will be downloaded straight into your. You see, it has been downloaded straight. So it will be downloaded straight into your um devices, whatever device you are using. Once you click on print, and you see it right here. This is it. Now let's go back and update a tracking. Um, ID. So we're going to go to the now. This is update. And this is your admin, yeah. So you just have to go to the particular. Um, you just have to go to the particular um, ID you want to update. So let's say update. Okay, tracking ID. So we're going to let's say um. Okay, we're going to select, let's say painting, the dates, we're going to have this date instead. Okay, so we're going to select the dates now. We're going to select the dates. So let's say on the 11th, this is actually the, is actually the month and this is the, um, the day. Okay, so this is the month, this is the day. Okay, so on the 17th of November, this is the current status of the parcel. So let's update. Update successful. Update successful. So now we're going to go straight up and check. Okay. So. And this is the same track ID, remember? So we're going to track it now. Now you see it has changed to pending. Now it has changed to pending on so and so day on the 17th of November 2022 by 4.07 a.m. It is pending. Parcel is in transit to Mexico and is held by authority. You get so very easy to use, actually. Very easy, very straightforward. So next we're going to be checking out how to install the software, okay? Okay, now, so this is my cPanel. So by now, you should have a domain name and cPanel. If you've not gotten that, you can go to Namecheap or Bluehost, or you can contact us to help you get a domain name and host it for you. Okay, so now I'm not going to get a new domain name for this purpose. I'm just going to use a subdomain. But for you, you use a domain name, okay? So it could be an add-on domain. It could be the primary domain of your cPanel. So let's go straight. So I'm going to call this, um, yeah, so it'll be easy to remember. Okay, so now it's been created. Now let's go straight to business. Okay, so I'm going to go to my file manager so I can upload. Okay, so this is right here what I just created. 
Okay, so now we're going to upload the file. Okay, so now this has to get to 100% and then it is done. You have to make sure it gets to 100% and it is showing green before you cancel. Do not cancel it, do not click on this, do not click on anything. Just wait for it to finish loading. It's green, so it means that's finished uploading. So I'm going to get right into the configuration process, okay? So now let's see. Yes, yeah, so all you have to do is extract it. Okay. Now, this is it right here. Now, this is it. Now, we don't want it inside the folder. We want it on the main, we want it on the um, subdomain that we created, right? We don't want it inside the folder. So, we're going to select all and we're going to click on move. We're going to move it out of this folder. You see, out of this folder into the main one here. Now, perfect. Now I've moved this out into the main. So now we're going to get down to configuring. Okay. Now, this is the DB. This is you are going to be configuring the um, the website. Okay. So first of all, we click on this. We click on edit. And it takes you right here. Okay, so now we're going to change this to our own, our own um, database and user. So let's go. So search for my SQL database wizard. So we can call this, um, let's say, Okay, now use a password that you know you would remember or ensure you save this password, okay? So I'm going to open my notepad so I can save this password right here. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm going to save the username and the database name also on my notepad. So you can use it for the configuration. Now you click on all privileges, scroll down, click on make changes. Perfect. Now you're done. Now you return to home. Now there's one more thing to do. You need to now upload the MySQL database file into this database that you just created. Okay, so we're going to click, we're going to search for PHP, brings up PHP my admin. Okay, so this is what we just created. Click on it. Okay, so if there's no table, there's nothing here. So we're going to import the MySQL database into it. Yeah, it is. Okay, so all this will be made available for you. All this will be made available for you. Perfect. It's done. So let's see. Let's check it out. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, this is our website. You see, this is what we just uploaded. Now, let us go to the admin. Okay, now to go to the admin, we just have to do this slash admin. Now, how do you change your admin um, password and um, password and email? So you just click on tracking admin right here. So you double click 
and then you can change it to whatever you want so i'm going to change mine to mail at mail.com okay wait for it to load perfect i'm going to change this to mail one two three four five six perfect now you see so now we're going to use this to log in now my network is a bit poor okay so now that we've created our database and we have uploaded the next thing we're going to do is change config and um, configure our website so it picks up our own database okay now if you don't do that part this is what you're going to get when you try to open the website it's going to tell you database connection failed why because you have not connected your database to you have not connected the database you created to your website okay so now we're going to do that now so like i said you go to db.php you click on edit now you find db.php right on the very page yeah okay you click on edit and it brings you here so now let's change now remember our password we saved this right here now let's see this is our password this is db pass ensure you do not touch any other thing but the required parameters my username is this so i'm going to use this right here for user perfect now yes i'm going to use this for just Perfect. Now click on save. Successful. Now let's try this out again. Voila. You see? So now your website is connected to your database and now you can continue from here. Now let's see. Remember, the, remember we changed our um, email for the login in for the um admin so we're going to get the email and password we're going to log in perfect so now this is our admin okay so now from here i can create my own tracking id and track my id send to whoever wants to track the id i can update and i can um, manage my own career or logistic website you see very easy you don't even need to write code you don't even need to bother yourself about any design or whatever everything has been done for you so this script is going to be made available for you you just have to check the description of this video and you will see how to get the script thank you very much and have a nice day